We begin at 5 with a fire displacing several families just days before Christmas. Those flames tore through several units at the Courtyard Apartments in Seminole overnight. News 4's Bria Berry spoke to a mom of four who's trying to find a way to start over. It's a very heartbreaking story. As you can see, caution tape is still up and fire crews are still here on the scene. We talked to one mom who lost everything in the fire. She's now searching for a new home. I don't have nothing. I lost everything. My kids lost everything. I don't have a house now. I don't have nowhere to live. Ashley Kiefer and her four children losing everything before Christmas Day. Now my mom. Flames burning their apartment unit Wednesday night, leaving damage behind and four other families without a home. I couldn't even sleep last night because every time I closed my eyes, all I seen was fire because I could have been asleep. Kiefer says she and her kids were watching TV when she saw flames outside the front door. Her neighbors coming to their rescue. I'll step outside and it, it's fully involved. I, it's coming out from under the uh, balcony, completely involved. I come downstairs, start yelling, everybody get up, everybody get up. The couple using fire extinguishers and water to put out the flames. Kiefer says her main focus was to save her children. I would have done anything to save those kids. I would broke a window. I would, I would, I would literally run through the wall if I had to to save those kids. The mom now thanking her neighbors for their life-saving efforts. She believes if it had not been for them, things would have been much different. Something bad could have happened to them too. And I thank you for, you know, saving everything they could and for saving my apartment and getting my kids out. And I'm then, sorry that this happened yeah. to them. And uh, I, hope, I hope the best for them. I hope the best for them and I hope that our community can come together and help these people. Yeah. In Seminole, Bria Berry, Oklahoma's News 4. As for the cause, the fire chief says it was electrical in nature. The mother has set up a GoFundMe account if you'd like to help them. We've got a link set up at KFOR.com.